Hi everyone, this is Rebecca from Watch Becca Plan on Instagram, and I just want to do a quick flip through of what has changed in my planner in the last couple weeks. Um, sorry if my voice sounds funny, I am currently getting over a cold. My husband and my son are currently upstairs <laughs> napping because they're sick too. Um, so I just wanted to go do a quick flip through. Um, right now, uh, one of the big things that has changed is I decided to add, sorry, my cat master has, it is close to his feeding time, so he is all up in my stuff about feeding him. Um, one of the big things that has changed for me is I tried to add an inbox back in. Inboxes are strange for me because... I'm t a type of person who on my weekly page will just, when things come up, I'll write it on my weekly page. Um, I have recently changed my weekly page to a new one, and in that, I now need another place to put tasks. One thing that I really want to do is st more sticky notes because they're a lot easier to move the information and throw it away versus in a whole insert that takes up a bunch of room in my planner and then I don't have a huge list of things that need to get done on an insert that I'm never going to do. Um, so these are Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes, printable sticky notes. And this is just the, I think it's called checklist one. Um, and I just have some things that I want to get done that I did in a brain dump. Um, and then on everything in the pockets is the same, so I won't go through those, but I, this is just a sheet of lamination that is clear and I didn't have anything in it. Um, this is from Miss Trenchcoat, um, the charm, um, charmed life, the charm shop. Um, she does videos on YouTube. Um, this was half letter and I just sized it down. Um, this inbox I made... I'm currently working on an entire planner guide for myself to stick in here that goes through like different categories, different things, tasks, appointments, events, what what constitutes those things, what I do with it when I get it, um, but like a whole guide for myself so that I can have it written down and kind of reference it if I need to. Um, and then this is a trigger list. I took the one from Marge Plans on Instagram and I kind of copied it over and I added some things to it because like um my I added sm my son I call him I reference him as Smalls in my planner um and then a couple other things that I just wanted to add in to different categories that she had so I copied it over into Canva and I just kind of made my own little trigger list from hers but her, if hers is is great. I just wanted to personalize it a little bit. Um, and then I have my contact reference. This is a insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I use this in anytime I talk to anyone on the phone. Um, anytime that I have to send an email or anything like that, I put it in here. Um, these are the checklist inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. I did at computer, home projects. Um, I took that big list that I had and I kind of broke it out into stuff. This is my categorized wish list. Um, instead of having a sheet for each thing, I just have one sheet that has different um, boxes in it. Um, this used to be, I used to, I have the same design in a categorized to-do list also. So like at computer, to-do, to buy. Um, but since I'm using it this way, my inbox in this way now, I don't really need that. So I just use it as a wish list now. Um, and then these are some of my big projects. I did have it set up so that I had personal size dividers in here. And then each project had its own dividers. But it took up a lot of room. And I didn't really find it necessary. I would much rather just have a sheet for the larger projects and um, kind of go from there. 
Um, this is a dashboard that I made. Um, this is the Laura Jean Plans planner size guide and then I just printed out her newer edition and I just have it on I printed out on like printer paper and laminated it and I just stick it in the back of my planner I use this a lot when I'm making inserts for my Instagram account so it's nice to have that um and then these are just note pages um this is a notebook from Walmart and I just cut the pages down um, this is a little, uh, comic, and that is my cat when he wants to be fed in the morning, so I just find it funny. Um, as you can tell, he is aggressive when he wants to be fed. <laughs> um, and then this one is from Once More With Love. Um, and then this is an acetate from Peanuts Planner Co. that I got on Black Friday. Um, this is a new one. I uh, took my yearly overview and I made it into as close to this insert. I hate how it's horizontal. I don't like that. But I like having the weeks. So I made one that had the weeks but made it vertical. So then I have my yearly tracker and then the months on the inside. So that way... Um, all of these things can go on that. I just haven't moved it over yet. Um, important dates. That's a Peanuts Planner Co. one. This is a, that yearly insert. Just printed on one page. My quarter one projects. This, this page, this overview, and this are both up on my freebie folders. Um, my freebie Google Drive folder linked in my Instagram bio. Um, I have it in like six sizes, I think. It's one of the freebies I have listed. Um, along with my weekly, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is just post-it notes. That's from, um, my key. This is my monthly. This is Peanuts Planner Co. Um, Peanuts Planner Co. Insert, I don't know. <laughs> Um, Pokemon Go, appointments and events. Events are the dots and appointments are the open circles. And then tasks, um, projects, habits, um, major events here, my son's preschool schedule, and then raids for Pokemon Go. This is my cleaning tracker for June. I decided to do um, one month on one side and then this is February on the back side. And then these are my new weeklies. This is my post-it note for printing my um, freebie inserts. I was trying to keep track of it. It's a lot. Oh, I have A6, Franklin Covey Compact, Half Letter, Pocket Plus, Personal Wide, Personal, and A5. Those are the, what, seven sizes? Yeah, seven sizes. If there's a size that I don't have on here that you would like, just leave a comment down below and I can make it. Um, depending on, you know... I don't know if I could do TN books or anything like that, but like a ring planner insert. Um, this is the new weekly that I made. Um, mine is dated and um, has all of my ho like ho ho holidays and birthdays. He's very bitey. He's declawed in the front before we got him. He's a rescue. He was declawed before we got him, and now he is just very bitey. <laughs> he likes to try to eat me when he's hungry. Um, but it is not dinner time yet. He was just fed a little while ago, so. Um, and he, he has an open bowl of dry food. It's just, he's really a fiend for wet food right now. Um, so this is the weekly. I like it because it has the days up here, and then the to-do list here, and then the calendar, and then the, it's very lightly highlighted, and then my habit tracker. Um, I like having week on one page so that this is two weeks so I can kind of see the spread sorry I have sniffles I am not feeling well <laughs> um, and then these are the old inserts I was using from Peanuts Platter Co. it was a freebie on her website and then this is my journaling pages um, this is another one that I made um, it's just a daily slash notes insert um, and then this is the rest of my months. I have the weeks printed out for, I think, till June. Yeah. 
and then I, I have to print July through December. Um, this is just a cartoon for my son, picture of us at Christmas. Um, I added a watch back a plan section, which I'm not really using, so I don't really know. And then I kind of I like having data to track, so I thought I would track Instagram subscribers, like subscribers, um, and stuff, just because I like seeing that kind of stuff to like look back on. Um, my master grocery list and my grocery list sticky notes. Um, this week's grocery list, foods my, my son has autism and an eating, um, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder, so he has a very select few foods that he will eat, so when he tries something new, I like listing it down because you never know how, you know, how much he'll like it in the future. Um, this is a plan with B, the last time, insert freebie. This is my school tracker. I track when my son goes to school is the hearts. Days that he is absent is the X, and then the circle is no school. And then uh, snow days will be a little, like, asterisk. Um, so I just like keeping track of when he's there. It's preschool, so it doesn't he doesn't have to be there, but it's just kind of nice to see. Um, and then this is my son's health log, and appointments, and medicine log, and weight log, and height, doctor visit notes. Um, all that stuff for him. Um, this is a vellum that I made in Canva. This is a, um, this is a dashboard I made in Canva. This is all of my favorite little knick-knacky little cutout, paper cutout for my planner. Um, I just put it all in Canva and printed it out on one page. Um, this is my health log, period tracker, mood tracker, sleep energy tracker, which I'm not really using that much anymore because it's just too much. I found that I had too much to track. Um, this is book log. This is a Franklin Covey compact freebie in my freebies folder. I don't know if I'll release it in the other sizes, maybe. Same thing with the workout log. And if people want it then I I will do that my appointments log period tracker self-care um, uh, some notes from videos and then this is all just the same this is just my Pokemon Go Pokedex um, and then this I just this file folder back here I just released a template if you have a Franklin Covey compact planner and you want a file folder I it's a PDF printable so if you have eight and a half by 11 cardstock that you want to print out on, you can just stick it in the printer and the outline of the file folder will print on that and you just cut it out and then fold it in half. And you can print that sheet out and transfer, like trace it out on cardstock. I, I know you're hungry, I'm sorry. Um, you can trace it out on cardstock and then you can have a file folder. That's what I did with this one, it was scrapbook paper. I know you're hungry, stop it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's very demanding he's like 13 or 14 years old and he is on a schedule but it's not dinner time yet so it's not that schedule <laughs> it's not the great schedule um I took the template and I printed it out I printed it out <laughs> Stop. um I printed it out and I traced it onto scrapbook paper and then I cut it out myself so yeah I that's uploaded on the Google's drive Google Drive folder also so yeah, that's the only changes I really have. The main thing is the weeklies and the inbox. Those are the only two things that are really changing that much right now. Um, but yeah, still really loving the size. Still super functional and useful. And I love it. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.